Welcome! So today I want to talk about depression and anxiety and its relationship to addiction. Now first, I am not a therapist. I am not a doctor. I am just someone who, this has been a journey of well over 20 years for me. I will say that I've overcome it, but there's still bits and pieces that I have to do the daily work to make sure I don't fall back into certain patterns and trends. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit. But understand that I have been to probably five or six different therapists and in my eyes for a very long time I thought that those sessions and those therapists failed me because I didn't get what I wanted out of those sessions but then I realized that if in my eyes those therapy sessions went as well as I thought they were supposed to go then it wouldn't have led me down my journey right now of self-discovery and forced me to make myself look inside deeper than I was getting out of those therapy sessions. So I am just someone who has been down that road and overcome it and I share that and by sharing that it has helped many of my clients. So I just want to start opening up a little bit more so I can share with more people and help more people who aren't my clients. So that's why we're going to talk about this today. I know a lot of times when we hear depression and anxiety or mental health or mental illness, we don't want to accept that that might be part of our life. Trust me, I was there. I, you don't want to admit that something's wrong with you, but nothing's wrong with you. That's where we're going to start right now. So depression, another way to kind of think about depression is it's anger turned inward. So you can't get that anger out. You've suppressed it and now it's inside of you and it's just eating a hole in you like battery acid dripping on your skin. Just freaking eats and eats and eats at you, okay? Now anxiety, kind of the same thing. That's different emotions, it's emotional energy that's just bouncing off of those internal walls inside you. And it, it creates that worry and that fear and that anxiety. Think of the words in that way instead of the way that they're kind of labeled right now. And addiction. When people hear addiction, they definitely think that that's a bad thing always, always bad, bad, bad. And I mean, addiction is a, a negative thing. It's a bad thing, but it's something that you can overcome. But typically people do have or don't have an addictive personality. And once you kind of fix one addiction, you still have a tendency to fill that void with something else to be addicted with if you can't actually get to that root cause. And that's where I take people. I take people to that root cause to understand where all of this is coming from. Now, let's take a look at anger from the depression end of it. Inside of anger, behind that is hurt. And we don't want to feel hurt and we don't want to feel anger. So what do we typically do? Or what are we conditioned or told to do? Suppress it. Don't be mad. Don't cry. Don't feel this. No, you know what? Feel it. Feel it and feel it hard and dig into it of why you're feeling that way and try to understand what triggered you to feel that way. That's where you can start to immediately unpack the baggage so you can get deeper into it while you're in that moment, okay? But the thing is, is we don't like to feel hurt. We don't like to feel anger, but those are feelings that we need to deal with. But when we do feel those things, what do we typically want to do? Well, we want to feel better, right? So what do we do? We turn to something to cope, to feel better. Now, addiction has many, many forms. It can be drugs. It can be alcohol. It can be self-harm. It can be exercise. Yes, I said that. People are addicted to exercise as well. I was one of them. There is also food addictions, gossip and like drama, hate, shopping, sex, gambling. Addiction comes in so many different ways. And that is where I want you to understand is if there's something that is basically taking over your life is kind of a quick little way to look at it. If it's something that you feel like you have to do every single day and you feel like something is wrong or missing, if you don't do it, that's kind of an addictive behavior towards a certain either a behavioral pattern like the sex, like the gossip, like the shopping, an action, right? Or it's towards an emotional thing where you're going to try to cope with what's going on in your head. So use drugs or alcohol to kind of numb those feelings, suppress those feelings and not deal with what's actually going on. 
and then it gets worse and it gets worse and then you feel worse because you're not dealing with it and then it gets worse so then you cope more and do more drugs do more alcohol and then you end up in this cycle where you can't get out so that's kind of what I want to do is just bring awareness to it I'm not I'm not digging into it right now but I do want to bring some awareness to it because a lot of times those three words depression anxiety and addiction all have such a negative connotation to them that people don't even want to realize that it's probably going on right now. And with everything that's happening in our world right now, a lot more people are experiencing this type of mental health illness and don't want to actually admit that that's where they're at in life. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is I was medicated for a very long time. I wanted to get off of that medicine because for me, my opinion is medication is just a band-aid. If you don't get to that root cause, you're not fixing the problem. You are just putting a band-aid on it. And that blood for this band-aid term, it's going to keep gushing no matter how many band-aids you put on top of it. Until you deal with the issue down here, it's just going to keep coming no matter what you put on top of it. But some people get to the point where they're taking so much medication, it's causing another problem. And that's causing a problem. And it just keeps compounding. So what I want you to do is just maybe... Take a little bit of self-awareness right now and see where you're at. When you get angry with things, what is it that's triggering that anger? How are you dealing with that anger? Look at things like that to kind of see where you are and understand how you're coping with things. Do you turn to something to cope? That is all I really have. I just find somebody, that is all I'm saying is find somebody and it doesn't have to be a therapist. This is this is what I do. I take women down this path. And no, I am not a therapist. I have just done it myself and helped many other women do the same thing and get out of this. And that's what I want you to do is understand it's okay to ask for help. And if it is a therapist, that's fine. But beware of that band-aid of medication. It might make you feel good in the short term. And it's okay. I'm not saying don't be medicated, but I am saying Try to figure out root causes so you can get off of that medication. You don't need medication for the rest of your life. Feel those things. Understand where those things are coming from. If you can find a therapist that actually has been down this path before, maybe they've been depressed. Maybe they had long-term anxiety and then they decided to become a therapist to help. Those are the people that, in my experience, I have found the most help with is people who have actually been there, not someone who went to school, opened up a book, and then opened up a business. That's my personal opinion. I'm going to stick to it because it, it's played out that way for everything in my life. People that have been through it understand better than someone who's just reading it out of a book. It comes the same way through health and fitness and nutrition. If you haven't tried it, you probably only know the book end of it. And you need to know the actual feelings of it. Thank you so much for watching. Reach out to me if you have any questions. That is what I'm here for. And if you do need some assistance, I hope that you find it from whoever you may get it from. I'm not saying it has to be me, but I do thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I hope it was helpful. If it was, please like this video, share it with someone who you think might need it. And Thank you again for watching.